this is a long awaited video that you girls have been asking me for. I need to take you through how I do our menu set up for the week, how I shop and how I prepare our meals. Before I get started into showing you exactly what I'm doing, I do want to reiterate a few things. The first thing is that most of the meals that I make on a weekly basis come from the Lean Girl Kitchen Coach. It is an incredible program and it costs you less than 100 rand per month to have hundreds of recipes at the tips of your fingers and it's so exciting for me to not be repeating the same week in terms of eating week of the week and I was very stuck in a rut where I was kind of having the same meal a few times per week at some point so this really makes it interesting for us every week looks different every meal looks different and ever since incorporating the kitchen coach into our menu we have just been having the best time what I do however want to say and that gets me to point number two is that I am low-key aware of calories but I do not track it as in there is no MyFitnessPal on my phone. Um, I do not enter each and every meal that I have, I do not track it exactly like that. I am conscious though so whenever I do shop I would look at the calories of stuff and I would purposely take the one that's high in protein but less in calories for me to incorporate into the meals this however i mean we should all do what we want to do at the end of the day but for me this just really helps me have a great relationship with food at the end of the day which is something that's very sacred to me i feel that whenever i have had the my fitness pal app on my phone or whatever i was so aware of what i was eating that i didn't eat intuitively which i try to do so whenever i'm hungry i will eat and um it really just messed with the relationship that I had with food. I was constantly thinking about calories, withholding myself from things that I really wanted to eat just because of the calorie intake of that. So that's not a vibe for me. So I just wanted to mention that I do not track the calories as much. Um, I will, however, search for things less in calories most of the time. So all of this allows me to have a great relationship with my body, look at my body in a positive way and allows me to make decisions that makes me happy at the end of the day. But the kitchen coach mostly did not get started with it to lose weight or pick up weight necessarily for me. It was more as though keeping things interesting for me when I'm making meals. So this is how I do it. So once a week, this happens usually on a Sunday, I sit down with the kitchen coach app and I go through each section that she has so I start with breakfast and then I write five breakfasts down that I want to have this week I usually do five at a time because it does happen sometimes that we sleep in a little bit later and kind of miss breakfast or um, I'm running out of the house quickly and don't get a time to actually make breakfast or grabbing something on the road and um, it might happen that you have lunch with a friend or whatever so doing five at a time allows me to kind of have some leeway with them during the week so this is what I'll usually do. I'll write down the breakfast. I'll write five breakfasts down um, that I want to have this week. And then whenever I write one down that I do not have the ingredients for at home, I will write down the ingredients that I need to shop for that specific breakfast um, right underneath it. I do this for lunch as well. And then I do it for dinner too. Five meals that I want to make and then underneath them what I need for those meals. So after I have put pen to paper, I go into my phone and open up the to-do list. And yeah, I kind of figure out which day would work best. So I take all of my breakfasts, all of my lunches, all of my dinners and then pair them into days of what I feel is the best pairing for them or which would help me. I try to do one meal, either lunch or dinner, which is like a preparation meal um, and the one just kind of a bit easier so I take into account that I don't necessarily like eating mince two times a day so I kind of work around that to see which food pairings are best and in terms of preparation what would work easiest for me and what I could maybe prepare the previous day to have left over of let's say mince or chicken or whatever to use in a recipe the next day so I kind of do that and put it into like a, a little list and then as I make each meal I just <laughs> tick off the list I'm a big list person I love that love doing that and then another list I'm making is of all the ingredients that I need and then I go over and I go grocery shop with that list of ingredients ever since starting the lean goal that is something that I had to adapt to was um, 
buying more fresher fruits because she does use fresh uh, veggies and those type of things and I used to have all these convenience simply delish chicken snitchels and whatever and potatoes and I had that so many times a week so it allows me to buy fresh ingredients for the few meals that I have planned out and then I go do grocery shopping so let's go do that I have decided that I'm going to be a bougie bitch now and I'm only going to be shopping my fruits and veggies at Woolies. I, over the last two weeks, I'm just so done with needing to throw half of my fruits and veggies away because it just goes off so quickly whenever I buy it at either Checkers or Pick and Pay. So I'm just going to go to Woolies straight up. Um, it might be like a rand or two more expensive, but at least I get to use all of it and not need to throw it away every single day. I remembered my bags. <laughs> Yay me! There are, however, a few things I'm not going to be able to find at Woolies, like um, the bread that I'm wanting or the wraps that I'm thinking of getting or whatever. So those type of things I'm still going to buy from either Checkers or Pick and Play. Um, but like the fresh, the fresh fruits and veggies. Woolies is where it's at. Okay, Woolies shopping is done. I'm going to head on over to Checkers just because I'm closest to it for like the bread and a lot of few things that I need. I just impulsively went into Food Lovers Market to buy a watermelon because I love having fresh fruit to snack on. I'm back home with my groceries. Let me show you what I got. From Woolies, I spent 460 Rand and I got cheese rolls, lentil chips, tomatoes. Uh, I only needed one can of tuna, but they were on special, so I got four because it's always nice to actually have some tuna for a quick meal in case you ever need it. So I actually needed only one, but red lentils, avo, mushrooms, lettuce, bananas, really bananas. Is like the others, it's the best one. I got, I'm gonna make butternut soup, so I got one pumpkin, two butternut, chicken rashes, a small cucumber, and chicken fillets. From Checkers, I spent 130 Rand and I bought wraps, the low, the kilojoule controlled Albany bread, tomato and onion mix, almond milk, and a small yogurt. I bought everything I need for the entire weeks of meals, so that is 590 Rand for 15 meals actually 30 because i'm making for two people so it works out at around 20 rand per meal and like i say i'm left with like extra tuna and stuff so i don't think that's bad i know i'm also going to have some chicken rashes left they freeze beautifully I'm going to show you some of the meals that i make this week i'm not going to show you everything otherwise this video is going to be extremely long but i'm pretty happy with my spend today um, it's roughly about what I spend per week is between 400 and 600 Rand and then once a month I do have a big spend which I have decided I'm going to go to pick and pay for so then I buy like 10 bottles of coke light Josie enjoys drinking that I buy things like milk and butter you know like the big spend like the things you know yeah so but I'm actually happy with the spend from Woolies to be honest so I'm going to take you through the week of meals with me. I am making a butternut soup for dinner. Just adding some butternut. It's a high protein soup. So I'm also going to be adding lentils. I have the recipe right here. Um, um, after butternut lentils, we are going to do spices.
this is where we are at right now i'm going to let it simmer for a couple minutes and then i'm gonna have to start blending it i started cutting up some watermelon while that was simmering so now i'm just gonna start blending it bit by bit that's my finished product so creamy so excited so excited This is a quick and simple lunch that we love to make. It's just a little cheese bun of some shaved chicken, tomato cheese, and lentil chips. Now, the lentil puts the lentil chips on the sides, but I like to add them on top of the sandwich because it just gives it like a nice little crunch. I had some pumpkin left over that I didn't want to let throw to waste so I'm going to make some brownies and I'm gonna bring you with me. I've made this once before and it was surprisingly good. I started with some oat flour so I'm just going to blend up some oats. Okay the first one is blended. Let's do it again. We have our oats flour. Now let's do one serving whey protein. I'm going to use the MetaLab Milky Chocolate flavor. I normally don't like like chocolate flavored milkshakes or whatever because the chocolate always seems fake for me. This tastes amazing three tablespoons cocoa powder per the recipe for me that makes it dark chocolate so i'm gonna do like one of three sachets of sweetener it's going to be like three teaspoons for me because i like to use xylitol uh, sometimes i use candorel but i don't prefer it and then one teaspoon baking powder. This is where we're at right now. 60, And then 50 grams of low-fat plain Greek yogurt, which is about what's left in here. Now we mix it until there are no lumps. Put in the brownie batter and place into the oven <coughs> for 15 to 20 minutes. Or until a knife comes out clean. So let's do that. It's a very much trust the process type of dish. We do not question the lean girl. This is where we are at. Hopefully it doesn't rise too much. For 15 to 20 minutes. I 
I do want to mention that whenever I do share a recipe from the Lean Girl, it is because she has shared that recipe herself either on Instagram or on YouTube and therefore I feel like I can share it but whenever I'm posting a recipe on my stories or you see this in this video or whatever and I do not post the recipe and you keep asking me for it and I either ignore you or I tell you that I'm not going to send it to you I'm not trying to be funny she is a creator herself and she deserves to get paid for the work that she does the kitchen coach honestly is less than a hundred rand per month and you get hundreds of recipes including a takeout, a takeout guide, um, a restaurant guide. I think it's such a worthy program to have. So whenever I don't share some of the recipes with you, it is because I believe with my entire heart that she needs to get paid. Um, and I just, I'm just not gonna share her work for free. That is just my two cents. I'll see you in 15 minutes. This is where we are at. I added a bit of icing to it. It looks pretty good. I'm so excited to have it cool down a little bit and then actually taste it. Um, so I did add a little, a little bit of icing on top, which is just like the normal icing with butter. At this point, I don't count calories. Like I've said, that might change in the future if i decide that i wanted to but right now i'm pretty comfortable with where i'm at with my relationship with food and the goals that i'm reaching through what i'm using it is monday again and i'm minutes away from going to the grocery store i have my new menu set up with my new grocery list and that's basically been a week of eating for us i didn't show you all meals but at the end of the day we did get about 15 meals out of that um other meals were like eating at our parents or things that we got while on the road that you can't really always prepare for a few things that were on our menu that i didn't mention or didn't show you was we had some French toast. We did have all brand flakes one morning, um, avocado toast, a cheesy chicken and mushroom on toast, a butternut cottage pie, a chicken wrap. And for this week, new things that I'll be adding for breakfast is an English breakfast muffin. Haven't done that one yet. I'm also going to pick up some wheat picks and see if I can make a recipe for that. Um, for lunch, a nice idea that I have for lunch is the triple decker coronation chicken sandwich from the lean girl and an interesting dinner that i have on here is a chicken couscous and pumpkin bowl so i'm very excited for that i'm heading to the grocery store right now all in all our groceries work us out around 600 rand per week it allows us to have 15 meals out of that minimum and we love that for us i hope that this was helpful thank you so much for watching and if you want more please let me know